the Central Market? Yeah. We're out here at Denver. Denver. I'm out here at the Denver Central Market. So this is Supima. Um, you can feel it. Yeah, it's like a. It, it's 100% cotton. It feels like okay. a synthetic. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. it, it's a six ounce. Okay. And we have the heavier weight stuff too, but is that like green? Or yeah, is that, okay. that's how smooth the cotton is. It prints like extraordinarily okay. well. That's nice. Yeah. If you look at a t-shirt up close, a lot of times they'll have like a fuzz to them. Take the cotton and kind of pull it apart. The little fibers, you mill it, what kind of creates the fuzz. So Supima is a type of cotton that's grown of the Pima grain. 1% of the cotton globally This extra long fiber. So when you pull the cotton apart, the fibers are really long. When you mill that, you get like almost a satin finish. It's very smooth because you don't have the fuzziness. Grown in San Joaquin Valley, California. All the garments, that we they ship the raw material all over the world. We mill it. This is cut and sewn in India, brought back. So this is traditional upland cotton. It's organic. It is a loop back French Terry three season tea, so like all fall, winter, and spring. It's got that like heavier weight. You could bring in a blank woven label, your hang tag, poly bag, your tissue paper, and then basically you can print it here and just have like a blank ready to go. Mm -hmm. This is this guy's information. Legit, legit stuff. The detail on this tagging is exceptional. Oh, yeah. To me, I'm always like of the mentality that packaging matters. Me and too, we're the same mentality, sir. So if you can get a garment of this quality, we also make the same piece in a pullover hoodie, same body, same shape, same construction, just pullover, no zip. And then we make it also in a crew neck, same body, same shape. Got the neck finish, so basically you can print or tag. Yeah. These are all really nice. That's 400 GSM, it's custom built. Five colors of fleece. We add Supima fleece in the spring, the Supreme style fleece. Yeah. Um, just a touch lighter than theirs, because I think the 450 is a little too much for everyday wear. I do too. This is my beef with kids shit too. Like your t-shirts are a little heavier than yeah. this. Uh, polos we're going to be doing in Supima. Uh -huh. Classic three button yeah, polo shirts that you can do. Put you back on that. Yeah, and I'll show you one of them. Like I've been wanting to do like a dragon, like the polo shirt, but do a dragon. 100% cotton. Oh, nice. Crazy, yeah. right? Yeah, it's really nice. If you want to really take your sleep to next level, find some Supima bed sheets. Shit's I'll insane. sleep differently. Yeah. I'll <laughs> get some tonight just to figure <laughs> yeah. it out. They're, it's They're comfortable really. stuff. They're expensive, but man, is it good. Kind of basic level what we have. We have Heather Gray, which is a touch of poly. If you ever want custom, custom cuts of development, like obviously all this stuff we do from scratch, like our own fabrics, patterns. I will send you a like a sample kit of whatever you want to test out. John yeah. I did it you think China, I think. I no, I think we have an, a silent beef. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, so like because the internet is weird. Like I have multiple brands. I don't have just one. I don't like brand. the idea of, hey, this is the name of my brand and this is how it falls under, you know, and I don't like when people say, like, well, yeah, I agree with that, but the brand isn't written. And I'm like, if I don't do that. Just come up with concepts. My own line which is a symbol because I got sued by Adidas, so it's like I turn it into a symbol like Prince. But don't you work with Adidas? Yeah. No. Off and on. We have a fucking strange relationship. You know? <laughs> it's, it's yeah, so it's very, yeah, for sure. Most definitely. During the period when you were like, <laughs> on my come up, did they? Pop up at a store that was actually a retail store for them. I heard that someone called for marketing. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, that guy's kind of stepping on our toes. It's just a weird relationship. So on the low, like, hey, we're gonna send you a shoe, blah blah blah. But on the other side, someone's like, you can't do this. I don't work for them, mm -hmm. and I get to do whatever I want. But you know, there's also uh, DBM. Don't be mad. Also Listen. uses the fucking spot. Well, he didn't invent the smile face. Right. No one did. Right. So that that was the thing. Someone came at me like, Oh, you're trying to buy China. Very honest about. It. I was like, Listen. I mean, I have a Godzilla painting I just did for a shirt. I spent 70 hours on. I'm working my ass off. So when I see someone go, Have a nice day on the back of your shirt. Like, and you're gonna compare me? Right. I'm gonna fucking call you out. They go back and forth between like, taking care of myself, and, like you know, like with food and working out. Uh, this fits again. Can you just text me the yeah. types of colors or whatever? Absolutely. And Sounds perfect to me. Cool. Yeah, man, I'm excited. This is awesome. It's cool to have people in town doing stuff like I'm less than a scene YouTube channel. Like yeah. I, I, I watch like a golf one. Yeah. I think it's amazing, man. I think that's a, a whole other thing that just when I was coming out through the years that I, that would be like, it just wasn't around. Just wanted to consume more of it. So I was like, I wonder if they're making videos about this. And no one is making any videos about these shoes. The unboxing or what was it? Yeah, just whatever. Just anything. Like, question I ever had was, I wonder what fits better, the Ultra Boost or the NMD. And there is literally no fucking answer to it. Like, I could not fucking believe it. The shoe had already been out for, I mean, I found it about late. I was so out of shoes. I flew to LA in some slides. Really? Yeah, I flew to LA in some slides because I was running fucking late. And my girl's like, what are you doing? You're gonna just wear slides all weekend? Like, it's LA, I'll find a pair of fucking shoes. <laughs> I walked into a round two, 
Yeah. And then uh, my boy is good friends with them, so he took me down there. I introduced to Sean, and I was like, what's that shoe? And he even was like, it's some stupid Adidas. And I was like, let me see it. She's like, oh, this shit feels crazy. Let me tell you this. That was, yeah, it was an NMB. It was a white one. I got on my phone, I ordered a black one. We got home, I ordered like five more. And yeah. I found about stock X, and I was like, F -f 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 -f. and it just from there. <laughs> fucking dorks no one smokes weed no one cusses like this isn't like, shoe culture and fashion and all that shit is about living your fucking life to me you know it's like, what that really happens and what really happens is people smoke weed and they go have a drink in the middle of the day sometimes and they <laughs> fight with their girlfriend right. and, like the, the real shit that right. goes on i'm so sick and tired of people acting like that's not it like going down to melrose and finding the gucci sweatshirt is not real yeah you're doing that shit just to show people that like, you, some days my vlog is straight boring it's like that's a regular dude and that regular dude is doing shit. Yeah. You know, that regular dude's making clothing and it helps them. You know, like, that's cool, man. Not, yeah. I'm not special. Right. I just wake up in the morning and decide to do this instead of that. That's all. Back in Denver the second time now for how long? Seven years, I think. Well, and did you grow up here originally? No, so I grew up in North Carolina. Okay. I left home. I hopped trains out here from North Carolina when I was 17. Left, came back again, stayed here for two or three years. Left, came back for a year, left, and now I've been back. So that's, yeah, that's all I want to keep up is just having fun and making shit people want to wear. Send you some stuff. Okay, cool. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, likewise, man. I really appreciate and, it. Um, uh, and, uh, gave me a lot of good insight. And of I, course, man. I, I, all right. So I'm back from the early meeting. That was a fucking great meeting. Like, holy shit, dude. Like, that was. You know, life is so fucking crazy, dog. Like, we tried to do this shit. Y'all who've watched the vlog basically from the start, you know, that it's shortly after I started making clothing, I wanted to make better clothes. And the idea of all this is to just make better and better stuff. You know, we're all trying to evolve. And you know these things, they cost a lot of money. You know, as soon as I learned about cut and sew and moving into higher fashion garment and the investment that it takes, people have questions about starting a brand. And one thing about starting a brand is it's real hard to not overproduce. It's hard to not underproduce. It's hard to find the balance in what you're doing, serve your customer the way they want to be served and expected to, which is instant these days. And you just kind of have to create your own little world. And I've tried to do that. I've really, like every day, wake up trying to make cooler stuff, not necessarily clothes always but art there's been a lot of stress and drama the last few months or even year just splits with different printers changing and switching out garments because companies switch their shit up or companies don't make a certain color anymore Gildan bought them or whatever the case may be in the most serendipitous way ever I got hit up and had a meeting with my man it is just seems like finally fucking you know i've sent shit off i've done the route of china like hey let me send off hats to get made in china let's have this made in china let's deal with the factory one-on-one -on -one basis let's do this let's do that build these relationships that's just like what it is you know you're trying to network build relationships with different people to try to make getting things done easier that's pretty much what life is and in fashion or clothing design or production whatever you want to call it it's just annoying shit finally today you know and the last time we tried to do this i designed a jacket and a pant and i had done all this stuff in attempts to move forward or up in the scale of things there's always just that hurdle of hey, this is gonna cost you a fuckload of money to try to do. You gotta see how frequent I move. I'm not gonna order a thousand of one sweatshirt because I'm on to the next sweatshirt. You guys have seen like me dealing with printers and fulfilling, filling things that I wanna make in time and all these things that we're accustomed to as consumers and me trying to find my own place in it and build my platform. And it's just been really, you know, it's difficult. It's a lot of legwork. There's a lot of information I don't know. You know, it's like learning a new thing. Some people can really save you a lot of fucking trouble if they've you know they've maneuvered those waters before randomly the other day honestly stemming from my uh, critique on kith adidas 4d whatever whatever on social media i got contacted day who is local has actually been working on the same shit for years like 10 15 20 years and they have all this shit in place and all these relationships these really nice garments yeah it's a totally different thing the hoodies are good completely different weight you know it's like if you've bought stuff from kith and you have the different gsms like the 500 400 things like that it's this type of stuff it's a heavier weight it's a higher quality also the ability to create with those materials is in the not so distant future i'm gonna be able to get myself or have gotten myself into position to use these garments create new garments hats pants processes of how kind of I saw what other people are doing not necessarily knowing how to do it and today i learned or was told basically how to do it and i was like oh if a light bulb goes off above your head i just 
had a whole fucking stadium. <sighs> oh. Today's been sick. I'm really fucking excited about a lot of things. I have a lot of shit that I have to figure out inside my brain. In the very near future, I'm definitely gonna switch to a higher quality garment for certain things. Because one thing that we are gonna have to test out, and I really am gonna have to get feedback from friends and family and just customers in general. Main thing you're gonna see the change, like t-shirts, long sleeve sweatshirts. It's like a whole nother, I mean, I do my best to find what I can at price points. This is a whole nother level. Price points are definitely gonna change on some things. There's not much I can do about that. So I still may off a cheaper version of it for a little while while we switch. If we switch fully while I make my own shirt, if I don't like certain things. Um, because the other thing too is when you get into these more uh, higher quality garments, they don't come in bigger sizes. Usually 2X is the largest. So I'm not trying to have everybody be cut out and not get anything. But there's all kinds of different processes and different connections I've made today that I really just open up. It's just, it just made my palette so much bigger. I have so many more ideas and things that I can execute and all I really want to do is fucking execute. Yeah, really, really fucking good meeting today. Like, really good. It makes me want to wake up earlier now. I want to start waking up at like 7.30 so I can get more shit done. Lately, I've been sleeping until 9.30 or 10. <sighs> but yeah, so that's what's happened so far today. Um, and now I've got to finish up Houston stuff. We have printers getting ready for Houston, but they don't have the final product to give me quotes to get shit started and to see how much I'm going to print to get everything to friends. And there's, there's a lot of fucking shit going on. Today. I'll check back in in a minute. Okay. Peace. Oh, and Ernst in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah, why would you want to be somebody else? That's the other thing, man. Why be somebody else if you can be yourself? And now, and look, the much better it is. I think when you're coming up, you know, you see cool stuff and you're like, damn, someone did something cool. That makes you want to emulate them, you know, because you wish you did it. But I think that shit's just there to remind you or to show you that cool stuff exists. I, you gotta get out what's in you. Like, yeah, you saw something cool that someone else got out of them. That's just to show you, like, you have that in there. Like a fucking cereal box, homie. Each one comes with a prize. Fucking dig around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but. Yeah, it's on. It's almost over. Well, I need 24 months to make sure everything's in in, in position. <laughs> I know, man. This is gonna be great. I can't wait. I'm prepared, man. I got bad material. And I'm just trying to make myself better. That's all. Every day. I still got ways to go, obviously. Don't we all? I love you, kid. Uh, I love you, too. Thanks. You inspire me, Teddy. You do. You inspire me every time I talk to you, brother. You always have, though. You know that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't always know. I don't always know, but you know, I love to hear it. So. <laughs> I just did that for the vlog. If I use this footage, then, I, then people can be like, see, Teddy's a fucking hater. He had to ruin a good moment. Teddy can't take shit seriously. Yo, um, give my love to Er, Brandy, and the crew. Yeah, well, hey, just so you know, if you try to call him for the next two weeks, he's traveling, so don't get mad at him. Oh, Er, right? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Peace. I love you. Love you. All right, I spent way too long at the on the phone. I didn't get. I gotta get to work now. <laughs> My fucking troll picked someone. Just, I get keep getting tweets asking me if I'm at Complex Con because I posted this fucking meme of the fucking <laughs> of the suitcases. <laughs> I can't stop myself. Trolling is too funny. Uh, so many people. All right, I really, I should answer emails now. I finally finished scheduling my tat. Well, I'm not finished scheduling, but. Oh. Finished answering the emails that I have. Still waiting on quite a few responses from people for scheduling, but also people are at work and it's Friday, so I get it. 80% book for Houston. I have a little bit of time here and there. Not a lot, or else I'll just be tattooing 24 hours a day for seven days. If you want to get in, it's going to be... Just email me like soon. I'm closing my books on Tuesday, so I won't take any more appointments after Tuesday. I gotta schedule all this shit and draw and get ready. Mentally prepare myself for this shit. I'm really excited for Houston. Everyone has pretty much hit me up, has a really cool idea for tattoos. I'm like really excited for some of the shit y'all want. I'm like, hi, love Houston. Fucking love Houston. I'm really excited to get there. I'm really excited to for all the shit going on. I'm really excited about life. Things are good today. Today is a fucking great day. I essentially haven't gotten shit done as far as drawing. There aren't really shoes for me to talk to you about. I mean, I have a lot of shoes, 
You guys know this. We get a lot of shoes in the mail. The kith thing was today. People are sad. You get it? No, you fucking knew that was gonna happen, didn't you? I don't know. I mean, the only shout out to StockX. The only shoe that I ha and I haven't tried these on yet. So I think next week, because Earn is gonna be gone, because I'll be here a lot drawing and stuff, and I might go through and do some shoe stuff. I might do like a little collection video or something. I don't know what we're gonna get into. Because these are a little different than the other Pharrells. We have these to talk about. I know. I know we have the contest. If you can't tell, the Goku contest, I'm still just going through emails. Three final contestants in the Goku, and then I'm gonna pick the winner for that. Off-white contest, if you can't tell, I'm trying to figure out a really cool way to give these away. I was even bury them out, and I was gonna send them with Urn to New Mexico and have him bury them in the desert, <laughs> and then drop a treasure map online. But I felt like someone might get hurt, so I didn't do that. I'm trying to come up with a really cool way, and honestly, StockX is like, have you given those shoes away yet? I'm like, not yet, but I'm about to. This weekend I'm scheduling tattoos and drawing and getting all this shit finished. Really excited for the future with the brand. Uh, really excited just for the future of making stuff and cool shit, man. I'm re I have I said that I'm excited? I'm excited. Ain't nothing coming out. An Ultra Boost, whatever it's called, starts with a K. Kinfolk, which actually releases tonight. It might have already released because I don't know my time zones. That's it for me for the day. That's the week. I'll see y'all on Twitch. I'll see you in these streets. I'll see you in Houston. I'll see you on the internet. I make memes. You know what it is.